What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're working on an 03 60, my second favorite. Come along with me today as we replace our lovely ICP sensor and its connector because it's puking up through. All right, come on, let's do it. This is one of my, oh, there it is right there guys, yeah. Um, this is one of my good customers. I put an engine in this thing eh, probably like three and a half, maybe four years ago. And he called me saying, I'm leaking oil, I'm leaking oil. Let's get underneath the truck and do some inspections as I did. And let's see what you would see if your sensor was leaking. We're at Sukasa. So we're uh, working here on the weekend, but check it out. The whole belly side of the truck's covered in oil. If I can squeeze up here anymore. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying not to get my device doity, but you can see the whole back of the motor right there is just all, it's just oil everywhere. And I don't know, can you actually see up there? Can you see that connector? Oh wow, I think you can. Let me let me see if I can zoom in really quick. And, oh, IPR valve. Can we see the ICP at all? No. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that, that connector right there. You can see the oil drip right on it. Um, that's what we're going after today. I know um, I have heard some guys say, um, you know, they've done the sensor from underneath, but I don't know about you, I'd much rather do it upstairs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And um, if you have any questions along the way, make sure to uh, hit that comment section. All right, we're first going to not drain any coolant. We're gonna take uh, this coolant line off the radiator, take this coolant line off the degas bottle, and uh, take the air filter out. All right, so. I've gone ahead and I've loosened up the degas bottle. I've disconnected our air filter minder and the mass sensor and the snorkel going to the air cleaner. Now I don't disconnect any of these clips or anything. Um, just remove this rubber thing from the core support and pretty much just wiggle out this air cleaner housing and disconnect it like that. And then wiggle it up out of the little thing to get the rubber ground that's out of there. No. Nope. Eventually you get something like that. But this guy's makeshift battery connection wasn't so uh, intact. We're gonna have to fix that. Um, okay, so once you get that off, you go ahead and just get your degas bottle. Get your degas bottle out of the way. If you leave these two hoses connected, you can most likely not have it leak. Go ahead and get your eight milli. Get that clamp loose. Switch over to your 10 mil. I'm fixing a truck. All right, and I'm just gonna go with my panel popper or your little pry bar. I'm just gonna, see I just got that bracket up like that, no big deal. This just clips into the valve cover. Go ahead and just that guy out. Move that out of the way. All right, now we're gonna have to go for the thickum. We got a 13, two 13s, and we got two 10 millis here in the back. I'm gonna get a light on so we can see a little better. Thank you, New York Ed. Go ahead. Can I do something like that? Oh. 
we're rolling with Milwaukee's new 3 8 ratchet impact. Thing's pretty badass. And then we're going to switch to the quarter drive to get those two 10 millis in the back. Alright, so after we get all those bolts out, there's a tab here and a tab here. We're just going to push those tabs together and literally wiggle that connector out. There's three of them. One big one and two smaller ones that are both the same size. So just make sure you orientate you know, the connectors. There goes my light in the uh, correct way. That back one sometimes sucks but you should look somewhat like that when you're done. Minus the light. You can see the sensor back there. It's all covered in oil. We're gonna go ahead and try to get that out. Hope you got tiny hands. Um, my one piece of advice would be to remove that nut and that intake stud and then you have nothing hitting the palm of your hand. So we're gonna disconnect these two connectors and get these two fasteners out. All right, we got the sensor connector undone and look at all the oil out of it. That is nasty. So now I have my GoPro set down in there and I'm gonna to try to show you how to remove it with a little better camera angle uh, using it down there. But let me show you the setup that I'm gonna use. I got half inch, the weevil wobble, and my 27 milli. We're going to concoct this all together and then put it down in there right on the ICP sensor, break it loose, and then I'm going to stick my hand down in there and remove the rest of the way with my hand. Loose. You can see the room I'm working with here, so it's not like I got a lot of swinging. Ugh. These ones are usually pretty tight. Oh. Okay, look at this nasty thing. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna give it a little spritz of brake clean down there before I put the new one in. Get it off clean because there is a whole bunch of oil residue all over the place. All right, this is the part number for your ICP sensor. Make sure you get the metal one. Don't be getting the aluminum plastic one. That's not the correct one. They will work interchangeable, but it's not the right one. So if you're in a bind, yes, but to be correct, no, it's not uh, the correct one. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to open this. And then in our connector bag, which, by the way, will work for your exhaust back pressure sensor or your ICP sensor. So in the bag comes this little electrical grease and I'm pretty much just gonna, before I put it in, squeeze it 
squeeze all this in there, just like that. So now, when we go and screw that in, we ain't got to worry about trying to slather that up. All right, I'm going to put this in, and then we're going to make this wiring repair. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for this repair. Um, pretty much same old, same old wiring repair that you guys always see me do. Um, I would recommend, you know, wrapping it in foil tape because it is right underneath the turbo and the exhaust. Um, drop me in the comment section um, if you guys have ever done this or if you guys had to take it to a shop and have somebody done this uh, to your truck um, or if you're watching this video and doing yours. Make sure to hit that like, hit that sub, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. See you.